let's take a look at this example here. So first of all, you have four equations with uh, three variables. So we're going to write this in augmented matrix format. The augmented matrix is written this way. So as you know, the very first column are the coefficients of x1. So you have one, another one, two, and three. The second column, coefficients of x sub two. So since you don't have x sub two, it means that it was zero x sub two. So you have negative one and then zero, then negative three, then two. The third column are the coefficients of x sub three, which are two, one, five, and negative one. And eventually we have the constants four, six, four, and one. Very good. So remember, what is our goal? Our goal is to convert this matrix into the form of one, zero, 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 whatever number is, then one, zero, zero. Then you have other numerical values, one, zero. So this is our goal. This is what we're trying to do. Luckily for us, the leading coefficient on the first row is one. This is one, and we have one here. Note that below one, we need to have zero, zero, and a zero. So what are we going to do? We can multiply the first row by negative one and add it to the second row. Negative R1 plus R2, and this new row is replaced for R2. Negative one multiplied by each element gives us negative one, positive one, negative two, negative four, and add it to R2, which is one, zero, one, and six. 0, 1, negative 1, and 2. This is replaced for the second row. I have 1, I have a negative 1, 2. There's no change to the first row. We're going to keep first row as it is. But now this new row will be replaced for the second row down here. So 0, 1, negative 1, and 2. Let's uh, take a look at the elements down here. We have a 2 and we have a 3. To get rid of this 2, we're going to multiply the very first row by negative 2 and add it to the third row. So negative 2. R1 plus R3 replaced for R3. So I end up having a negative 2 and I have a 2. I have a negative 4 and negative 8 plus R3. My R3 is 2. Negative 3. Five and four. If I add these together, I add zero, negative one, one, and negative four. So my third row is now my new third row is zero, negative one, one, and negative four. And finally, remember, I need to make some adjustments to the last row because I need to have zeros down here. Perfect. So I'm going to multiply the first row by negative three to create the opposite term, negative three, R1 plus R4, and this new row is replaced by R4. So I have negative three, and then I have a three, and then I have negative three times two, which is negative six, and negative three times four, which is negative 12, plus R4, R4 is three, two, negative one, and one. So let's take a look at this new row here. Zero, five, negative seven, and negative 11. 0, 5, negative 7, negative 11. Hey, take a look at your original. Um, so let's compare these new augmented matrix to what we have to do. 1 and zeros, 1 and zeros. Now, the second element on the main diagonal must be 1. We have a one here, but down here we need to have zero. So we need to go further. To make negative one zero, we just need to add R2 and R3. R2 plus R3 and replace for R3. This guy is now one, zero, 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 negative one, one, 
zero. And here I have, let's write down negative five as well. I have two, I have negative one. And here, if I add these two, I get another zero. And I have a four, I have a two. And two plus negative four is negative two. And let me copy down the rest of the elements that I have here. So negative one is now zero, but I have a five. I need to, if I wrote down negative five, this should five. Um, now I need to get rid of this five. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply the second row by negative five and add it to the last row. So negative five times R two plus R four, and this is going to be my new R four. One, negative one, two, and four, zero, one, negative one, two, and then zero, 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 negative two. So zero plus zero is zero. We can write down everything. We have zero, we have negative five, we have five, and we have negative 10 plus zero, five, seven, negative 11, which is zero, zero, 12, and negative 21. Zero, 12, negative 21. Well, we ended up having zero, zero here. We can interchange R3 and R4 and divide this guy by 12 as well. So it makes it a little bit easier to deal with. But in the second part, Take a look at this row down here. You have zero, 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 and negative two. So you might be interested in interchanging these two rows and divide by 12 to make one, one, and then one. But for a moment, stop and think about this row. This row with zeros here. I'm talking about this row. What's the meaning of this row? If I ask you to convert this row into a linear equation, what are you going to do? You're going to say that, hey, this says the coefficient of x1 is zero. The coefficient of x2 is zero. The coefficient of x3 is zero. And on the right-hand side, you have negative two. Well, zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Zero is equal to negative two. This is a no no situation it says zero is equal to a negative number so when you have no no situation it means that there is no solution so before continuing to the next step always check if you have contradiction in your system this line converted into linear equation result in zero equals to negative two, which doesn't make sense. This is a contradiction. What's the meaning of that? It means that this system has no solution. There is no intersection between these four equations. There is no solution for this system.